The Gospel passage set for the 17th Sunday in Ordinary Time takes the series of parables from Matthew chapter 13 to an end. Jesus presents us with three rather short parables and only the explanation for one of them, for the third one. But perhaps the first two parables we hear today, the parable of the treasure and the parable of the pearl, the are the ones we should focus on. The parables uh, look quite similar, but they have a very subtle difference. In the parable of the treasure, a man or someone finds a treasure buried in a field and we are told he goes off happy. The element of happiness highlights the unexpected joy at finding something precious whilst we were doing something completely different. So the image portrayed to us by this parable is less one of a person hunting for treasures in the countryside with a metal detector, scouring every inch of a field and getting quite frustrated. No, it's more the image of someone stumbling completely by chance on something of great, great value. The second parable portrays a picture of someone that after a great deal of research or painstaking labor, finally finds something worthwhile, something of incredible value. One parable portrays a picture of encounter by chance, the other one an encounter by research. Whether by chance or by painstaking research, we are told by the Gospel that if we want to acquire the item, the treasure, the pearl of great value, then we have to do something. And that something is to sell our possession in order to acquire it. That could mean, we could interpret that as in to bargain our entire existence, not just what we possess materially, but what our life is made of in order to gain the treasure, to gain the precious pearl. But how does that relate to our spiritual life? Let me give you two examples from the lives of the saints. For the chance encounter, let's look at Saint Anthony of Egypt, who lived between the 3rd and the 4th century. Anthony was a young man who entered a church at the time when the Gospel was being read. And in that Gospel, Jesus told his hearers, If you want to be one of my followers, go sell your possessions, then come follow me. And that chance encounter with the Gospel changed the life of Anthony completely. He left the church there and then. He went off and did exactly what Jesus said. He sold off his possession. He made sure his sister was looked after for the rest of, his, of her life. And he went on to live in the desert as a monk following Jesus in that specific and very costly way. Perhaps for the parable of the pearl, let's look at the more recent saint. Um, let's take Edith Stein, or maybe you know her as uh, a saintly nun called Teresa Benedicta of the Cross. Whatever name you use to refer to her, she was a philosopher, born at the end of the 19th century from a Jewish family. She was an atheist. She was a very good scholar. 
and she had a job as assistant professor in a university in Germany. Through her labor, through her research in philosophy, through her teaching and work in the academy, she came, she converted to Christianity. She found the message of Christ and she converted to it. Not only she changed her way of thinking and accepted the faith, but she bargained her entire life, leaving a job in academia and becoming a Carmelite nun. She did eventually give everything, everything uh, for the church and the gospel as she was martyred in the gas chambers in 1942. Both Anthony and Edith or Benedicta give us an example for these parables. One, a chance encounter that changes one's life and for which we have to respond with everything we have. And the other one, an encounter after long, long painstaking search, but to which also we have to respond with all of our life. Now, we could think this type of response to follow Christ, to become a disciple of the kingdom of heaven, something too costly, something only for saints. But we should be reminded that the person whom we follow, Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Master, our Leader, our God, did that before us, before any of the saints. He did not have to find a pearl of great value, but for the sake of bringing us the message of the Gospel, for the sake of bringing to us salvation, he bargained his all existence. We are told by St. Paul, writing to the Philippians, that Jesus did not, the Son did not consider equality with God as something to be taken advantage of, but that he, he emptied himself assuming human form, becoming a servant, obedience even to death on the cross. Even for our Lord Jesus Christ, the kingdom of God is something costly, something that requires everything. And in his own life, he sets the pattern of how to interpret and how to live out these parables.